Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Uh, what have we got here today? Well, if the answer was something that would get you instantly arrested whilst going for an airport, um, the an you would have answered correctly. Uh, but joking apart, what I have done is I had a project, I've had it on the books for, you know, probably this best part of this year and just waiting for parts and you're going to get distracted by other projects and I thought, right, I'll get, get kick my ass and get this finished. Uh, what it is, is basically I had the idea to put uh, these uh, WS2812 LED rings uh, behind a pair of sunglasses. That's a bit of a stupid idea. Um, turned out to not too bad actually. There's a few other hurdles in between that uh, taught me a thing or two, so uh, I'll show you the other side. This is what I mean when they'd get you arrested going for the airport. Imagine, imagine taking these off. But anyway, the, probably, the, probably the main thing that I was trying to get sorted with this project was the uh, battery which I remember taking apart a pair um, these you know the disposable uh, e-cigs that you get like in the shape of a cigarette well they don't have a disposable battery well they do have a disposable battery they have a um, quad a battery this is three taped together but basically it's um, these batteries which are smaller than a triple a thinner so what I did was uh, dremeled out a hole in the side of the arm this is quite like a like a like a tough plastic, so it kind of kept its shape. It's not like the bendy, you know, when sunglasses you get they're quite bendy. These are like a resin type one, so I just um, dremeled that shape, covered it with a bit of heat shrink, added a charger, just a standard lipo charger, so you can just charge it. Obviously, you can't add that into the design; they're far too big. And you know, yeah, I'm not sure how long these last for. Actually, these probably last a couple of hours. Um, and then round the other side, we've got a eighty tiny eighty five in S and D uh, form. It was quite um, challenging because I soldered it to the board and I was like, great. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute, I've not done the bootload or the code or anything. Um, but I, I made it so you could use one of these clips so you can clip it over the top. But it's kind of hard when you're trying to clip it on and you're trying to look at the screen, but in the bootloader, you know, you're trying to hold it, you're trying to press the keyboard. I did eventually get the bootloader burnt and the code burnt to it, uh, so it's quite good. You can actually upload more code if you want. That's why I left it um, this way in orientation so it has plenty of space. So you can just click one of these clips on. Uh, and then we've got a bank of uh, dip switches, S&D dip switches, which are quite nice. Uh, it's just a switch, uh, wires coming out, and then there's the um, voltage regulator or boost boost, uh, boost regulator, which is kind of um, a bit of a jip really. It's supposed to be a 5 volt boost, but it turns out it outputs about 6.5 volts, which is right for this project, but I used it in another project and it completely destroyed the project. So um, I don't know what I'm going to use. If I'm going to make another one of these, if I'm going to try and find a different one. Because it's quite nice to use because they're quite small. We have to do drill a hole for the um, uh, choke to come out of. And then basically just wired wired the wires across, uh, soldered, the, uh, hot glued the, um, the WH-2812 to the front. Super glued these wires in place so they wouldn't, so once it's on the front, they would actually look pretty uh, out of the way. So I'll show you uh, different modes. These are just different the dip switches. I realized that I could have used these, used less dip switches and used them in like a binary fashion. Um, there's them, which are quite nice rainbow. Um, that's the third one. Which are just them ones, and then there's these chase ones. It's basically the same code that I used in this project. This is the reason why I used the four dip switches because of this one. You can only have one switch on at once, so I just basically copied the code. But then afterwards, I was like, wait a minute, I could have, I could add more um, things if I want to. Um, but yeah, there's uh, as usual uh, blog post in the description with a bit, probably a bit more info on the. Um, build process and everything else but it's a bit of a hack together a bit of a bodge job but um, it was kind of one of them things I just wanted to get it out of the way and get it done and um, yeah you can actually see through the sunglasses whilst they're on uh, not that you'd want it because it'd be daytime when you had them on because um, on night time you don't really see much but they only need to be worn on top of the head um, like at a barbecue or something or at a rave or whatever I wish I'd had these back uh, back when I used to go out they'd be quite uh, be quite cool but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.